let's take a look at this one. It's been a while since I looked at horses, but I did some research just for a refresher. And the main things, a couple things that stand out just right off the bat, um, and it would be the amount of left to right sway in its butt and especially in its head, and probably how straight those legs are in terms of having no arcs. It could be slightly more inwards just to make it a bit messier and a bit less, um, it feels a bit too default in how straight they are. You could have put some, some more organic offsets and just be a bit more, um, yeah, just less default in its posing. The main thing though, I'll be careful, it seems like your butt and your chest are going up at the same time. And usually what happens is that on that, on that passing here, so when this passes, you're gonna have the butt that goes up. But then on that passing, what I would do is probably delay this by a frame or two, probably two frames. So when there's a passing here, you're gonna have your, your, um, you know, your plants there. But what happens on the plant is that it actually goes down. Since you are spread out, it's gonna lower the chest. So when this goes up, this goes down, and then rhythm-wise, the head will go up pretty much at the same time as your butt, and it all seems a bit offset. That's, that's one of the things I would watch out for. Then I would probably also reduce the height and watch out just quickly. If this is your ground plane, it seems like your hoof is going through the ground plane, but you could probably, let's see here, let me check. So if I go frame by frame here, yeah, probably by now you could rotate that hoof further back, a bit more curvature. I wouldn't go as high, so it looks like it's you know, it's like a dog. A dog after it pooped, it kind of puts his legs back and shuffles the ground to kind of hide whatever they're doing there to hide or clean up their uh, their business. But this feels a bit too straight, so I would lower it a little bit and then overall rotate the hoof back a bit more, and then make sure that when you get to here, it snaps a bit more forward. It's almost like a cat where it has that lazy hoof where it's or leg, or paw. It's not going off the ground as much, but then by now it will be a full straight. And that's a tricky thing about animating uh, horses in CG. Like you want that, bam, that full extension. It's really always locking the legs. So even this bend uh, here, I will keep it as straight as you can. Uh, same thing here, this goes really way up. So just at least half that. And the same thing with the back ones, or just a bit lower. Same thing here, watch out for your your wiggle knees. And then if I look at the spacing, it seems like you got moments of pauses here, like your feet have to go back, and if that's your graph editor, in a linear way, like they plant and then they go back all in the same uh, linear timing, then get off the ground. It's gonna be the same distance as this travels forward. And right now you're having a little pause there, and you can see probably that's why it also motivates some of this here. But then you go back and then you kind of ease in and then you go up. So make sure that all of that is a linear. If the timing of it, when the head bob happens, will change. I do like how that looks. But if you look again in the front view, that's a bit much. You can tone that way down. So I would start with that. I mean, there's some you know bigger changes that are going to happen because of all these offsets, and you really have to fix the legs. And just you can start just adding a bit of a just a drop and a bit of a uh, bounciness based on what what this does. Because usually you got the harder tail here, and then it's just you know it's just got your hair. So it's not going to be something where it's like a cat or something. It's just going to droop and drop. And you can start into a slight, uh, you know, maybe you can bring the ears just slightly offset, maybe slightly forward, or one up and then one bit forward, just start with that, but yeah, the biggest ones, you know, you start having arcs in your in your legs and go slightly inwards, like one more than the other, you can already start adding asymmetry in there, but ooh, to it way down the butt and the head, and that's that, I would start with that. And you can probably, if you're going for more vanilla also, as you offset this, I will probably reduce the up and down like 20%. So 
okay to kind of push it exaggerate but right now it's a bit bouncy that's that all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you